Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you an additional audio automation feature called Follow Program Video. Now audio for sources with Follow Program Video enabled in the audio configuration panel is automatically removed from mixed outputs until one or more specified video sources are actually displayed on program output. Now let's dive in and explain what that means. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and I have a very simple setup today. Just myself here in my virtual set, and then I have a volcano erupting on input two, and another video on input number three. Now, normally, during a production, if we look down at the bottom of the screen, you can see the audio levels in input number one bouncing, which is my voice on my microphone, and then input two is that volcano. Now, if I don't want to have that audio being coming out of my uh, program output, normally what I'd have to do is either mute it or ride this fader up and down and bring that source live whenever I need it. But if I have that source coming through all the time, it can be a little bit chaotic, especially if I have a bunch of different inputs and going through and juggling which inputs are doing what. The nice thing is we can automate this using the follow program video option. So to do that, I'm going to select the gear configuration next to input 2. And under the Processing tab, at the very bottom of the screen where it says Automation, I can select Follow Program Video. So what this means is when I have this particular source selected, so Input 2 is selected right now, it will only have the audio coming out of my program output if I select that source. So if we look over on uh, below at the input number 1 and 2, it looks as if I've completely muted input number 2 and then if we look over on the master side, that audio has been removed as well. And that's because I don't have that selected because of this follow program video option. So now, if I select input 2 on my program row, boom. Now those levels are appearing in my master, and you can see that they are no longer grayed out on input 2. But if I select any other source on my program row, like 3 for example, then that audio is muted again. Now, what's cool about this is you can configure this for different uh, options as well. So, uh, let me put my mix effect back over on my program row. And then input 2, let's go ahead and configure that again. And underneath the uh, follow program video option, let's also select input number 3. So now, whenever I select either input 2 or 3 on my program row, that's the only time you'll be able to hear that audio. All right, so let's go ahead and click on input 3. Boom. And now those uh, audio sources are available in the master and underneath input 2. And if I click on input 2, same thing. But if I click on anything else, that completely disappears. So as you can see, this is a very powerful way for managing your audio sources without having to go through and mute sources or ride your different volume levels for each particular input. So that way, if you have somebody that's off screen that might be getting a drink of water or coughing or adjusting their microphone, for example, you can enact this particular uh, feature and completely mute them until you need to bring them on screen on your program row. Now, if you like this tutorial video but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly. Also, if you're on Instagram, be sure to follow us and tag us in your posts. We love to see how people are using TriCasters within the broadcast. Also, for more videos like this one and customer testimonials, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.